Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to explore one of the coolest features in Prisma 3D 3.0 beta, setting up a tune shader on AGLTF model file. If you're interested in creating stylized, cartoon-like animations, this tutorial is for you. We'll be covering everything from importing the GLTF model file to setting up the tune shader and rendering the final scene. Section 1. Importing model. To get started, we need to import our GLTF model file into Prisma 3D. This is a simple process that only takes a few clicks. First, let's go to the model menu and select import. Then, we can choose our GLTF file and import it into the scene. Make sure to select the correct settings, such as the GLTF file and up axis, to ensure that your model imports correctly. Section 2. Setting up for Tune Shader. Now that we have our model imported, you can see that the Tune Shader material is automatically applied to our model. This is where the magic happens, and we can give our model that stylized, cartoon-like look. To set up the Tune Shader look, we'll need to create a new light. Then, we can adjust the settings to get the look we want. Section 3. Adjusting the Tune Shader Settings Now that we have the Tune Shader set up, let's adjust the settings to get the look we want. We can adjust the color, light, and other settings to customize the look of our model. This is where you can get creative and experiment with different settings to find the look that works best for your project. Let's start by adjusting the color settings and adding a light to our scene. Section 4, Rendering and Final Touches. Finally, let's render our scene and add some final touches. We can adjust the lighting, camera settings, and other elements to enhance the look of our model. This is where you can add some extra polish to your project and make it look professional. Let's start by adjusting the lighting settings and adding some anime background scene. I hope you learned something new and useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more animation tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.